Welcome to BBC News. This is a Coral Reef News Flash. <laughs> For the past few weeks, our team has been covering the life of Mr. Spikey, the crown of thorns sea star. But its food has been destroyed. Dun, dun, dun. Let's go to our reporter in the North Reef to find out what's happening. Here in the North Reef, and as you see, a lot of the coral in the North Reef is dead, or probably sick. We have a clear case of coral bleaching on our hands. It also means the reef is being washed out. In our studio, we have Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, we can see that the North Reef is seriously sick, but do you know why the coral has been severely bleached? Well, there are a couple different reasons as to why the coral is bleached, but um, most likely it's because of high levels of uh, temperature, that the water is very, very warm and that stresses the coral and makes it want to get rid of the little plants that live inside of it. When it expels these plants, you can see right through the coral organism into the white stone underneath it, therefore giving it the appearance of having been bleached. Thank you, Dr. Drew. We have run some experiments of our own. Let's go to the lab for our findings. Yes, we have run several experiments in the reef simulator, and this is what we have found. The Coral has been bleached by the rising temperatures. The sea urchins and green turf algae populations are rising, but everything else is dropping. This has been happening since the 1980s. Thanks for that report. So what can we do to solve this problem? Our field reporter is with Dr. Wesney to see how people are con conserving reefs. Gracias. I'm here with Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark, can you explain how people are saving the reefs? Yes, there's lots of ways people can save coral reefs. So people can be careful on the reef and not catch too many fish. So we want to be careful not to overfish reefs and to not um, kick the reef or drop uh, anchors on the reef. Um, there are lots of things that we can do. We want to be careful about global warming. So we don't want to make the water too hot because that can cause coral bleaching events. And um, we want to be politically aware, um, in general aware, that coral reefs are important environmentally, so we need to be very careful with them. So there are lots of ways that people can save coral reefs. Gracias, Dr. Mark. De nada. Thanks for that report. Finally, you may be wondering what you can do to help save the reef. Well, our field reporter has some things that you can do right now. Thank you. If you visit Save the Reef, you can donate clams, design Save the Reef face parts, and take surveys to show your support. Thank you for listening to this BBC News Flash. We need to save the coral reefs because of their immense diversity. Save the coral reefs because of their immense diversity. Yeah. That's, our, that's our Oscar sigh. Maybe wants a cookie. Maybe he's gonna oh, go get a cookie. Is <gasps> it's gone! All I gotta say is S T S T Save the Sea Turtles Foundation. Thank you. Okay then. Well said. Yes, what could you repeat that for the camera? Well said. Save the reef. Yeah. Why Reef Kids Advisory Council? <laughs>